this is how I made my best drum kit to date. What's up, welcome back to the channel. My name is Simon Servita. I just released my newest drum kit, the Capital Drum Kit Volume 4. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a behind the scenes on how I made the entire thing. All right, so let's get into it. But you should know that there's not really a right or wrong way to make a drum kit. Nobody's getting a bachelor's degree in drum kit making. Drum kitiology, drum kittenesis. This process is just what I'm really comfortable with. So the first step in making a drum kit is to create. This is easily the most time consuming part of the drum kit because I'm trying to create as many sounds as possible. But over the last few weeks, I've just been sitting down and doing hour long sessions of me just making kicks or 808s or hats or snares. Right now at the beginning, I'm just going for quantity. In terms of creating the actual sounds, most of them are synthesized. The majority of the time I'm making my sounds in serum just cause that's what I'm comfortable with. But when you really understand how a sound is made, you can transfer that knowledge to any synth. But there's also a couple other synths I'm using as well. One of them is Kick2 by Sonic Academy. This is pretty much a dedicated sound design plugin. So I'm using this for kicks, 808s, and snares mostly. Another one is Sublab. So I use this for 808s and basses. Um, and I'm also using other synths like Massive and Pigments. Other than that, there's a couple sounds I record myself. There's a couple random perks that I collected. I'll take a mic outside and record some Foley and Ambience. And there's live jump sessions that I can record as well. Making a clap right now. Better. That's a great sounding rim. Let's use a different noise sample. Wait, let's do, let's make a percussion loop with this. Guys, I was eating and listen to this sound. So satisfying. This can be like the fundamental for a snare. So the workflow that I've been doing now is just loading up a sample and then just make all the jumps from scratch and then just kind of make a beat. But there's just that initial part I have to do. I need to record some live claps. Might as well do that now. Sounds like somebody's like cracking their knuckles. Not yet a clap. If I boost this frequency, it kind of sounds like there's a rim with it now. Yeah, okay, sure. Some quick hi-hats going. some percussion so let's check the closet we oh, have yeah, bongos I forgot we'll do some one shots and then some groups I'm gonna get some like textured ambience going I got mahjong chips. Definitely potential. Let's 
So the next step I do is editing. This is when I take the sounds I create and then I edit them. And a lot of this is happening in the mixer. The reason I'm editing is just to clean up the sound a bit more or to do something fun and creative with it. Just because a clap sounds good on its own, it doesn't mean it's gonna sound good within a beat. And this is also a really good place where I can experiment and try out some new things. What I usually do in this section is I take a single sound and I make a bunch of iterations of it. For example, let's take this clap here. It might be better if it's a bit shorter or maybe if it's pitched down or it's more in the stereo. Maybe I want this frequency to stand out a bit more. Or this one, or this one. Decapitator sounds a bit different from something like Saturn. What I would usually do is go to Edison, record the clap. Okay, let's you know use this, record a new clap. Try this, record a new clap. Try the length, record a new clap. So I'm making a bunch of variations of the same clap just so I can get it perfect. In terms of the plugins I like to use in this space, there's a bunch. FabFilter Pro Q3 on pretty much everything. FabFilter Saturn 2 is really good. FabFilter Pro L2, Fruity Fast Distortion, Fruity Soft Clipper, TR5 Classic Clipper. These are really good if I wanna make a bit of a punchy clipping sound. Transient Processor, so if I wanna manipulate the transients. Weaker Attack, Stronger Attack. Smaller Release, Bigger Release. For more of the experimental stuff, Output Portal and Thermal is really good. weird. Also playing around with the actual piano rolls. I can do something like a slide, layer notes on top of each other, pan them differently, create some rolls, you know, go something with the pitch. It sounds like dubstep now. It's a lot of me just doing whatever comes to mind. Let's make some drill drums. Drill drums, drill drums. Drill. Get a sample. Ocean probably has something, right? 140. <laughs> Perfect. So send the low end there, the high end there. Correctly, the hi hats kind of sound like a shaker. I gotta start making effects like a riser. A How do I do that? So it means the sine wave has to go down. Isn't it just like the left? That's working for me. Okay, nice. There's like this clap sound I want that's like the perfect blend of live and trappy. You gotta get the, the ashiness as well. Let's write something. It's been a while. Ooh. 
wait. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. What if I put acapellas into the drum kit? Just like a four bar thing that you can drag into your beat to know if there's enough space for vocals. That's like a, I always want that when I'm making beats. Mm. The bars don't really matter. It's just the flow. I just have to capture the flow. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, no. Mess up the microphone. Can I get back in my zone, please? Let's just move this along. Oh, oh. The girl trying to slot you distracting. Consecutive hits, swinging a thousand on average, the way that I'm batting. Pretty thing Latin, started with chatting, and now we just bathing in satin. Mess with the talent, I'ma just come at your ribs like I'm Marilyn Manson. Woo! I'm getting really excited for this kit now. Today is gonna be a very fun day. We're gonna make some Vox. I haven't done gang vocals before, so I wanna do that. So maybe a hey, an A, a woo. Definitely want more melodic. Fox. Uh, like a sexy ooh. I want an exhale. Woo! Woo! Hey! Hey! What I'm gonna do now is simulate a crowd of people. When you're imagining a crowd of people, not everybody is directly in front of the mic like this. Somebody's here. Somebody's here, somebody's here, somebody's here. Also, not everybody has the same voice. Some people have low voices. Some people have high voices. Some people have really annoying voices. So exaggerating and mimicking that is gonna be really important too. Hey! 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 Yeah, you gotta shut up. Mm. Today I need to make a bunch of effects. Risers, drum fills. Easiest way to do this is to put some effects on top of a beat. And I don't feel like making beats, so I called for the bat signal for some beats. Okay, good enough. The next step in making the drum kit is to cut it down. I've been making a lot of sounds over the last few months, but now it's time to pick the best of the best. Even if the drum kit is nice and big, it's not really gonna matter if it's just a bunch of filler sounds that nobody's ever gonna use. All right, so we're nearing the completion of the drum kit. What I have right now is a bunch of sounds, so right now I just need to cut it down. So if I like it, it goes in the cut folder. Here we go. Kinda like that one. Like this one. Have to have that one. This one, love using this clap, gotta keep that. So these two are nice. It's really hard to mess up a hi-hat. I think the kicks are really good in this one. Okay, not a great start. This one's kinda cool. Crunchy, this is a nice kick. This one doesn't sound good in, by itself, but in a beat, it sits pretty nicely. Kinda nice. 
That's my favorite one. That's my that might be my favorite sound of the kit. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good one. I need to process more vocals, more better gang claps and melodies, some drum loops. Okay. Almost done. And the very last part is just organizing the kit. First, I gotta give a big shout out to this guy, Chemix, because he, I don't know, he put some ones and zeros in the kit. So when you open it up in FL, it looks super sexy. Also, I have to give a shout out to I'm Adam because he did the cover art and this thing looks sexy as hell too. They're kind of matching each other. Come on. Let me show you the process. So we take the sound, we go into Edison. Uh, if there's a clicking sound like this, then we have to de-click. Lot smoother going into the sample properties just naming it cdk4 analog base 2 and saving it into the designated folder and that part's pretty easy we're just renaming stuff there are some things like perk loops that you have to do a bit more work to so for example so do the labeling again but this time i want to sync it to tempo so i'm going to type in the tempo here I'm gonna click tempo sync and what that does now is whatever tempo you're in right now it's automatically gonna snap into that grid so right now you can see in the bottom one there is a bit of room because this is 130 and this is 133 let's say i move it to 120 if i move it in it's already going to be synced up nice and clean it might be a little extra there so i'm going to make sure i remove that in the sample so this is the worst part this is the most boring part if i had an intern he'd be doing this right now i gotta just throw it on this kit and then we're pretty much done all right, so here's what's in Capital Drum Kit Volume 4. First, we have the backbone of the kit. The 808s, kicks, snares, claps, rims. These are strong, hard, punchy sounds with tons of character. This is going to be the driving force of your beat, so choose carefully. Then we get to the ear candy. Tons of colorful cymbals, perps, and vox, as well as some tempo sync perk loops and drum fills. Also effects like swells, risers, and ambience. This is where your beat's gonna come to life and really shimmer. Introducing the newest section, acapellas. These are short vocal phrases by yours truly, as well as some of my artist friends. Tons of different flows, so use this as a tool to aid your production process. And I also added some dry vocals in case you wanna practice your vocal mixing. Enjoy. Lastly, full stemmed out drum loops in a bunch of different genres. Great if you want to speed up your workflow and get a little head start with your beat making. And of course, I had to add in some of my melodies to give you guys a little bit of inspiration. Yeah, and that's Capital Drum Kit Volume 4. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get the Capital Drum Kit 4, it's going to be in the description. This one definitely took me the longest to make, but I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. If you guys use the kit, please tag me on Instagram at Simon Servita Music. I'm going to repost all my favorite ones. If you want to learn about sound design, I have a beginner sound design tutorial right here, so check that out. Um, also, a lot of cook-up videos with the drum kit coming soon. I'm in the middle of making a beat tape with the drum kit, so look out for that, and I'll see you guys soon. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Get out of here.